It is now day 15 of Shelter in Place. And today, it's very special to me because um, I've been here, like I said, for 15 days. And I didn't know about a project until Skull Hacker uh, reached out to me and said, you know, there's this cool project. You should take a look at it. And then I took a look at it and I was like, wow, this is amazing. You know, if you're not on the front lines and you can't do anything and you're like me in your house you can do something and this is why i think it's extremely special it's a special live stream as well as you can do something and i'm happy to bring on phoenix from nucc sir thank you for joining today and I greatly appreciate your time. I know you're, you're with your family and stuff like that. And you took some time out and we had to schedule it. But introduce yourself. Tell me what you do and tell everyone out there what you do. Because this is an amazing project. Yeah, so uh, I'm Phoenix. I'm the uh, Assistant Director of Development at NUC. And uh, basically what NUC is, is the National Upcycle uh, Computing Collective. And um, a lot of what we do is is research. It's it's a research institute. It's a five hundred one c organization, nonprofit. Um, and so basically, anything having to do with uh, computer science, technology, engineering, research, you can do it at NUC. Um, we get the resources and can provide the resources uh, for anybody who's got any sort of uh, research in that field that they want to do. And that it obviously goes through uh, a vetting process and stuff. But um, <clears throat> it's really cool because um, we just get these all of these computing resources and we want to help people out. Uh, and help them do cool stuff. Um, and so basically the and you're breaking up a little bit you're breaking he, up. he came to skull hacker and yeah back to con both of them are are really uh, have been involved in defcon for a long time and um, and the Illuminati party as well. And um, so when Skull Hacker founded the Illuminati Party, he just wanted uh, a place where like minds could get together and, you know, sort of be a family. At the same time, uh, they were wanting to do more uh, and, and try and figure out a way where they could do more. And Dual D came to, to Skull and he was like, hey, I've got this great idea about a, a 501c. Um, forces together and help people and things that happen is the distributed computing are already familiar with it even though they probably don't think they are but uh, they've ever heard of of folding at home, SETI at home that stuff from way back in the day where you rent a screensaver and you're basically computing stuff um it's grown a whole lot and um we're basically doing that on a massive scale and uh just to sort of give an insight as to you know what that scale is uh we've got uh one million four hundred and fifty nine thousand sixty four credits this month Wow. Um, and so the total for the project is um, 11,113,599. Amazing. Uh, we're, 
361st in the world out of 11,868. And uh, number we're number 58 based on accumulated credit for the last day. Um, the position in the U.S. is uh, 108 out of 3,600. And we're number seven based on the accumulated credit in the last day. So we've got people coming on uh, rapidly right now, especially after introducing uh, this new project. Um, and it's not new. It's just, uh, we built a way for people to connect to it. Um, so if you go to, to the GitHub, uh, I think you've got a link to it. Yep. Um, get github.com slash phx slash nuck and ucc uh you can also get to it from bookandcode.com slash nuck um but it's basically a project where we've built out um some quick start scripts for every possible um operating system architecture we've got Windows native installer instructions, Windows Docker installer instructions, Docker installer instructions for, you know, every flavor of Linux. We've got BSD instructions, um, and people can get started up uh, processing these workloads uh, to fight, you know, the, fight the battle, uh, you know, while they're sitting at home. And... Um, we're using Rosetta at home right now. Uh, it, it's doing uh, CPU workloads. Um, folding at home is is mainly uh, GPU based, I believe. And we heard that they were having a lot of trouble uh, getting the COVID nineteen workloads out to people. So um, we're doing Rosetta at home, and it's it's flying. I mean, I've I've got a R seven ten that's that's just running full tilt right now. And uh, the numbers that we're producing are, are really massive. So if, if people want to get involved, you know, this is absolutely the way to do it. Yeah, this is this is great because for me, like I said, I feel like I'm doing nothing except watching and consuming CNN and and hearing that, you know, globally it's over over 650,000 people and in the u.s it's over 120 now thousand and it's just growing right and this is this is a way to to give back you know this is a way to help out even though you're watching tv give your machine up and and let them use the compute power and you know for me i i feel like now i have a a skin in the game, right? I, I, you know, I have a lot of family that, that aren't doing nothing and I'm spreading the word. I'm like, Hey, did you, did you see this? And I'm, I'm spreading the word to say, Hey, you can do something. You can make a difference. And that's the way I I've been communicating with my friends and family. Like, look, this is what we have and this is what we could do. And this is our part and we should be doing it. We owe that to, right. you know, society. And, and I, I just feel honored that, that you came on, Absolutely, you know, and, and it's our part, it's everyone's part. We, we, we don't work in hospitals, right? But what you can do right. is log on to this GitHub page and follow the instructions and help out. If, if this is affecting you in a way mentally or something like that, you can help out. You could take your time and say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and have my laptop. So I have everyone all of my laptops have this installed and is running just because I want to make a difference. I want to put my part and do my thing with it. And I, and I see that happening, you know? Yeah. And everybody's got a, you know, a spare laptop sitting around, you know, that they're, they're not doing anything with it. Just throw, throw a boink on there and, and have it go to town. The way that we have it set up is, you don't have to register for an account. You don't have to submit an email address. All you have to do is just install the software, run a command. You're you're attached to the project automatically, going to town, processing workloads. Yeah, and that's uh, that's 
what's cool about it is it's fast you can easily get it up and and going so you know i i recommend everyone who sees this please 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 you know do your part download this install it run it go you know do do what you have to do to to provide some value even though you're in your house you can easily do it and how long do you know how long this project's going to last until is there an end date or an I mean there's no end date in sight as far as I can tell as long as as long as coronavirus is a thing we're going to be we're going to be working on it so yeah, yeah and um you know there's also you know other projects that that we're involved in and that we will bring out to to the public when this settles down a little bit um so that they can get automatically set up in the in the same way um and we'll probably be able to use uh utilize gpu for building yeah um so that. but right now uh our main concern is coronavirus and so that's what we got going on yeah so taking one step back what are you doing on like where you're at to to cope with you know being in your house shelters in place in most of the country most of the world actually so what are you doing to stay focused i i ask this question to everyone that comes on because it's so important to keep your mental health you know you don't want to be off track and see all these things on on cnn and and your the state your state is like off track right there's sometimes now what I've been doing is I only look at what's going on outside, you know, with coronavirus after seven and eight because it's draining to me. My heart my heart goes out to the people that are losing, you know, their family members and, and it's difficult. I don't want to um see it and I have a lot, a lot of family. You know, I was born and raised in New York City, so I have a lot of family and friends over there and I try not to think of them. I, I stay in touch with them, you know by text every day and you know they're just staying in place but you know my heart goes out to people that are losing their their loved ones and and for me I wanted to ask you what are you doing you know with your time in in your house to to get away from everything so for so for me it's it's mainly just head first into development that's what that's what eases my mind. That's what gives me peace and focus mm. to start coding away at, at any sort of new project. Um, you know, that's, that's sort of what got my mind off of it mm. uh, was actually doing this work for it. So um, that's it's just, uh, you know, keep keeping the family close and, 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 uh, doing doing what we can to sort of help out yeah. but you know coding coding always gets my mind off of things do, do you get i just get lost in the code can i i will ask you for one request can you tweet out a playlist to share i have uh people follow follow uh phoenix ruby no rails and awesome um twitter handle but yeah i i want to know what you're listening to because now i'm excited as soon as i get off of this i'm gonna code i had a plan to to uh i'm writing this white paper but i'm gonna i'm gonna hold off because i'm really focused on coding now after you uh motivated me so if you could you know tweet out a playlist either on youtube or or spotify or something that would be cool for the people that are that are watching and if you have any questions the people that are watching definitely put them in there so phoenix could answer it or i can answer it if i have any any answers for your questions but what are you what are you doing um during the day monday through friday when you're working are you locked in as well just locked in like that just like on saturdays and sundays for me i try to take a step back and, and relax in the morning and then go full tilt at night on Saturdays and Sundays, because, you know, that that's the, the way I feel comfortable. You know, I, I, 
I got to be up to work uh, Monday through Friday, just like everyone else. And I'm just like, all right, so I don't confuse the days. I'm not going to work in the mornings on Saturdays and Sundays. I'm going to start, you know, just coding up and, and doing things after, you know, one, two o'clock. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'll get up in the morning and I'll just sort of have a cup of coffee and chill and, you know, just sort of do whatever, browse around and follow my interests for a bit. And then, uh, and then it's just like full tilt till, till the end of the day. And then, uh, it's, it's family time after that. And so that's, that's pretty much how my day goes. Yeah. And are you, are you working, um, full time with, uh, on, on this product project or, with uh nooksy no i'm actually uh full-time employed in the in the financial sector in uh cyber security okay. um i'm a i'm a senior application security engineer um but i i do um independent research and consulting for for various people uh throw a little shout out to km cyber security and hack Defnet. um They've both been some some really great guys to work with, but uh, yeah, uh, I got a got a lot of uh, got a lot of hands and a lot of pots, but it's it's fun, man. Yeah, getting to work with all these people, especially Nuck, is is just amazing. Uh, it's a great group of guys, and it's all for a good cause, and so you can't really ask for anything better than that. Yeah, how big is uh, the team in Nuck? Uh, it's, it's constantly growing and, and shrinking and growing again. Cause you know, you'll have people that'll come in to work on specific projects and, uh, then they'll get what they need and move on. And, uh, then you'll have more people come in. And so it's, it's just like a constantly shifting, uh, shifting environment for the most part. Nice. How can people go ahead and, you know, donate their time or to some project that Nook is, you know, running? Yeah, so basically just you can go to nookinc.org and um, go to the about section, read what we're about, reach out um, and, and get in touch with, with Dual D or Skull Hacker or myself and, um, you know, Anybody that's got any any good research ideas uh, that spans the gamut of computer science and and technology, um, you know that that pretty much covers everything uh, these days. So um, we've got the resources. We can provide the resources. You you provide the ideas, and I mean it's it's not a for profit thing at at all. Obviously, it's it's non profit organization we're just looking to to help our guys out that is that is really cool well i'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping it up uh this week we should be loaded with people um during these live streams tomorrow we have my friend i don't want to ruin it um but it might be pre-recorded because he's uh living in romania and then on Monday, we're going to have Adam from 949. We're going to have Ron back on, Ronald Eddings back on uh, Monday or Tuesday. We're going to have Chris also from uh, Netflix. He's going to be on. It's going to be jam-packed because, you know, we're not going anywhere, right? So, Phoenix, I greatly appreciate you taking the time out and joining me on this Saturday. And you're doing amazing work especially for what's going on. It it is important that I get this out. You get this out. Everyone, you know, download, run it, take, do your part, be a part of this because it's a must. So. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, Phoenix. I greatly appreciate it. And to everyone out there, I'll see you tomorrow. Be day 16. We are done.